Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Central Oregon Shenanigans. Thank you, Cap. Hey, not a problem. So, anyway, I can't talk this evening. Hey, it's okay. I'm, all, I'm getting choked up from the smoke, guys. Sister's fire <laughs> exploded to uh, almost 13. Oh, I think we're at 12,000. 12,000 acres, yeah. It's. It's crazy. The smoke's been blowing in. It's it's horrible. It's horrible in Redmond this evening. It is so smoky outside right now. Um, and I think the level of containment went up a little bit. Yeah, last I read it went, went from 18 to 23 percent. So. so this is days out from getting aired. So by, by the time you guys see this, it might be. Hopefully it's out. Yeah, really fire. So Kyle, we got the um, TAC kit the other day in. Oh, we're going to finally get some less vibrations out of the engine, I think. And we grabbed this bad boy. So, tack kit. Harmonic balancer. And some beer. Like I said back when we got this wrapped up in the video of the tack failure, um, I went ahead to destroked.com and ordered us some goodies here. Let's take a look inside this box. All right, guys, so we open the box. What comes in these TAC kits, Uncle Pal? We have got TAC sensor. We're not making it, we're, yeah. but we're just gonna bolt it on, yeah. guys. Like that. Now that's a kit. A kit should come with the hardware. Yes, brand new bolts, spacers to go with the, uh, the TAC sensor. I think that's what they're for anyway. I'm actually pretty positive it is. I'm actually, Brand new uh, adapter, tack wheel. I was shocked how big this is. I was thinking, you know, half the size of this tack wheel, weren't you? Yeah, I, I was thinking closer to what we were playing with the other day. Let me get a, a tape measure. I'm gonna say it's about nine inches. Um, so yeah, guys, it is exact. We're actually over nine. We're nine, a little over nine and an eight. That's okay. So. Yeah, big wheel. I was expecting something a little smaller. Um, quality of metal actually, looks, decent. looks really decent from D-Stroke. It's not disappointing. This is actually a pretty heavy duty piece. Yeah, that as well. So, I mean, what would you say that weighs? Jeez, a couple pounds. Yeah. You, you could knock somebody the <laughs> fuck out with that thing. You um, know what? If that's the least that we got to do is take the serpentine loose, I'm happy with it. At least we don't have to tear out a motor bounce so we can cut it down and... What? Have they seen this yet? Yeah, we did an episode on it. We did a whole episode on putting that's the That's right, that's right. Air intake in. We've, uh, but if you're new to the channel... I think we... If you're new to the channel, guys, or just missed that episode... If you're new to the channel and you missed that episode, we got this beautiful air intake piece. And we're going to leave it right now bare metal because I think it looks pretty cool. But eventually it's going to come out and get blue like mat to match the engine. I'm going to go through and touch those bolts up and we're also going to paint the and take uh, horn blue as well. Oh, and we're also doing this, even though this looks really horrible, it works really well, um, but we're going to upgrade to a new tensioner eventually. Eventually, yes. So, so. Uh, Kyle's gonna start with the serpentine. We'll get that off first. You feel warm, we just got done driving here, so. Now I gotta remember what size the, uh, what you were? 916. That's what I was about to say. 14. No, we're not filming a solar eclipse. Just showing you guys how smoky it is. That is the sun out of the uh, Central Oregon Shenanigans garage here. Yeah. It's in the red. That's where the thick decorations. Mm. Kyle was accomplishing that. Jeez, yeah, it is hot. <laughs> it's pulling the pulley off. This isn't a balancer, it is a pulley. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hand him the balancer off of 5.9. He's gotta line three things up and get a bolt started. Coming up soon, guys, on the channel is gonna be the. Um, Head gasket on the Cherokee. I sound like a parrot, I know. A parakeet. What is what repeats all the time? Fucking hit, Cotton. Success. Cotton, don't swear. Fuck you. I swear all the time. You got them all in tight? Yeah. Look at, look at that bad son of a bitch. 
ain't she pretty? I'm guessing those two bolts we're seeing right above it, right there, are gonna That's come out. That's it. Those are it? Yep. You sure? Pretty fucking positive. And um, we're gonna bolt that some bitch to that, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping one of those is a long. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. He's talking about different sizes here, guys, because he's like, what the hell? That uh, timing. Whatever. Sweet titties. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here, put that, put that and see which, which bolt. Episode. I'm not happy about it, but the tap does work when it's supposed to. The problem is, is belt location. Original belt location. Yes. Yeah, we had to change some things up, so we got to go buy a new belt. Uh, James will show you the way we're going now. Is this route? Is yeah, around the alternator, around Ooh. the water pump, yeah, that around way. the AC. So as you can see, we've got. The tensioner is tight and lots of slack, yeah. so we got to get a shorter belt. But what the way we were going was from the between the crank and the AC up instead of the AC alternator out to the water pump, so it's just a belt issue. It'll be okay. So guys, um, we were going to go order that belt tomorrow, or I'm going to take this belt down and try to get a new belt tomorrow if they don't got one then i gotta have napa order me a kajillion of them right in the right size and yeah and it's the next day spent all morning driving around to parts stores to find out they don't make the serpentine belt that i needed um, i just took a little bit of adjustment out of the alternator bracket so um easy smeezy We've got the right belt. We got a nice tight belt on there now because we had to reroute for the tack kit like we were talking about last night. So let's go take a look at it, guys. So tonight when Kyle gets off work and he joins me, Colin, I've got the belt. My my homework today was to get the belt. So I got the belt. I got it on. Tack kit works, guys. Before the episode's over, we will show you that on the dash. It works now. Idle's a little high. I figured as much because we haven't really got into too much of the pump tuning yet yeah guys that's our new serpentine uh, configuration with the tack wheel so but uh, it works air conditioning is gonna be next spring the pumps in we just haven't got anything hooked up to that yet build them ourselves so I'm gonna go inside now and work on some video for you guys and wait for Kyle to get here all right so later on in the day he joins I waited all afternoon he didn't wait for shit. He did everything while I was at work. No, that's not true. All I did was install the belt. Like we talked about on the phone. Oh yeah, so, I have to do wiring. Huh? That's his job. I left that for him. He likes to wire his life away. And I'm putting six months of disorganized tools away. But basically, we haven't done this in six months. Yeah. So as I'm putting shit away and interrupting every once in a while, we're gonna pull the expedition in and uh, get to wiring the, so the it's wired up. It, it's working on the dash, but we gotta wire it into the... Transmission controller. We got a winner. <laughs> All right, uh, so Kyle, tell the tubers what's going on. What did we find out about this whole tack? We tried to do what? I, I tried to hook the tack input up to the uh, regular tack that we have in there and it does not work. 
So I'm trying to find in this glorious mess a fucking pink wire with a white stripe. Yep. Number white. No, white with a pink. White with a pink stripe. Number 48 is the wire I'm looking for. So far, I've found one through 15. So yeah, this might take me a minute. Gotcha. To find down here. So we're gonna set that camera up so you guys can watch. Uh, and John keeps bugging us. Ding, 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 ding. John Fox over there is working on an eclipse tonight. I don't know if that's gonna be a video. But uh, at the end of this video, you guys should head over there and check him out. I will put the description in the link below. Would you like me to turn the interior? I guess there are. It doesn't matter. Yep, the PCM is behind the glove box and has a big harness connector into the firewall, which you need to access from the engine compartment. Ah, it looks like we're taking more plastic apart. I need to yank that battery out. We just moved up the engine bay and, uh, Kyle, do you want, want just do that one more time? No, fuck you. I don't want to electrocute myself again. Oh my gosh. How many times during this project have you done that? Five? I keep touching bare skin to the thing, uh, to the body, and putting my arm on the positive over here, and I've electrocuted. Just unplug the fucking battery. Wait, that's not going to work. You can't just unplug it because it's, it's bullshit. All right, so we had to pull the battery. Uh, the nice thing about these Heritage F-150 Expeditions and O2, uh, everything on the plugs have numbers. So if you can find a blog or something online, we've been running into some uh, good luck with that. Um, Kyle's pulling the main PCM wire off the back here. And hopefully once we get the plug up and out of that, bolt out of it. <clears throat> When he gets it up here, 48 white with pink stripe, or is it pink with a white? It Keep better it. be white with a fucking pink stripe because I found a pink with a white stripe inside of the loom. All right, guys. Well, there's, there's 104, so I've got a good chance of finding the right one. Hold on. It's looking like this is gonna go into day number three. Well guys, uh, I'm out of beer. I'm over this, I'm angry, got poop. I can't find the right wire. Saved my ass to make that tack on the transmission control work. So we're gonna revisit this tomorrow. We're going on day three on this video. Yay. Yay. All right guys, we're going. Hold on, hold on Chatty. Oh. So guys, we're back for day three of a one day project. I'll explain here in a minute. Let's get the expedition moved into the shop. So guys, what we were trying to find out last night was we thought, and I thought he was on the right track as well, is we had a ta we couldn't get any signal. To yeah, I get it. We couldn't get any signal to the simple shift transmission controller. We need RPM reading to tune the transmission perfectly. Comes to find out, we thought routing it into the PC, the powertrain module, was going to do some sort of like reducer, like a diode, because it needs five volts. Blah blah blah. Long story short, is I called the company today, like I said in the be a long time ago. Um, great customer service on doing diagnostics on the phone with you if you need that. Um, basically, we have to open up the transmission controller and tweak some things with removing a jump wire inside the transmission controller to tell it that we're actually on a magnetic um, sensor for the tack wheel. So we will get into that here in a second. All right, what are we doing, Uncle Kyle? Yeah, I'm doing things. Sure so we're, we're we're we'll get to this in a minute. All right. So um, Uncle Kyle is messing with the um, the finer points in mine. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Is there an instruction manual how to operate this? Sure. Or are you just kind of winging it? 
Sure. Yeah, we're playing sure. We, we've played, uh, we've played <laughs> Excellent Grand, answer. We've played yeah. Gran Turismo a lot yeah. in our lives. You know, <laughs> it's, it's just, just a graph. Put this line here, that line there. You go for a drive. See how see how she runs. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Need another bear. Okay. So for wide open throttle, you want to use the torque converter clutch in fourth gear only. I when it goes into fourth gear, I, can you that it can lock up the? Because I'd like you know like round forty five. The way that this is already set, it says never. Yeah, that, so, see, I was told told you. That's what we're why we were uh, slipping in overdrive. I don't know what. I to told you it was unloading in third. All right, guys. Um, like I, this is not the video that. Um, is going over the install or we're just we're basically tuning so yep oh, by, <laughs> by the way Chad over here is making his first appearance on the uh, the show um, yeah he was on previous episodes of Central Oregon Shannons when that was before we had our own channel but, right. um, we're calling his title uh, Village Idiot oh great that you picked that the last time we talked is that right yeah, yeah well, that was my fault that was your fault. Oh, okay. okay. You want, so, do you want a new name? Do you want a new name? <laughs> um. Yes, please. <laughs> well, yeah, nice. think about that while we time lapse right. this. Boom. Send it. Thank you, honey. So guys, what Kyle's doing right now is fixing the problem we've been fighting all it's damn week on this video, and that's the jumper wire. It's called a jumper wire, isn't it? Yep. So basically, these are set up for uh, like a gasoline coil ignited tachometer set up and we're going to a magnetic so just pulled it out boom there guys which came out of what circuit right there number six right here at the very end number six at the very end we're gonna get this uh, Kyle went through and blended up a different transmission setting so we're gonna go try that tomorrow tuning your life away Right. I'm pregnant on accident. My battery's foobard. Foobard? My battery's foobard. <laughs> so, he, I don't know where we're at in this video tonight. It's it crazy. Matter. I'm trying to get a Q&A video up right now, which this video's coming way after that shit. Yeah, I'm trying to edit sure. and be out here and do things, and holy shit, I need an aspirin. Right, guys so sorry we didn't conclude the episode the other day um, so what we found out with the whole tack kit it's done now finally um, was that was that um, basically you have to ground out the magnetic wire you gotta basically ground out the magnetic sensor for this tack wheel and also you've got to go into the computer and change a bunch of things. We actually had to call US Shift and they had to walk us through everything. That's gonna be a completely separate video. It's just too much to pack onto one episode. Um, once we get everything figured out, then we can go through everything. But as for right now, we're learning. So bear with us. But tackle's in, tackle's working. We got tachometer on the dash and we also have tachometer on the transmission controller. So it's done. So, um, we're going to end this video here. Um, I'm going to show you real quick that it's working. Done.
tack wheel in, got tack wheels in, new wirings in, got some cleanup to do on the wiring. Got a case of the squeaky belt, so I'm gonna have to tighten down. I gotta get a new idler. So seven, eight, so basically, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but seven points, so we're, we're at 800 RPM, so. Anyway guys, this is gonna conclude the video on the tack wheel yeah, install, pretty easy. Um, yeah, go ahead and comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and we'll catch you here on the next episode where I think Uncle Kyle and I are going up to save somebody. Because their 7-3 uh, won't start, and they're up hunting. Stranded, got a no start on his diesel, so we're going to make a 150 mile round trip in the expedition to see, to test fuel economy, to test fuel economy, and also it's its first maiden huge voyage that far so it's done a lot of trips around town but let's take it out for a good old stretching of its legs all right guys catch you next time